Before we get started, we got a word from our sponsors, True Classic. It's hard to find clothes, man, especially being a big boy trying to find clothes. But True Classic has put a little secret sauce into their shirts, and I love it to pieces. Now, if you're a smaller dude, get True Classic anyway because they feel fantastic, right? But if you're a big boy, the big advantages that we have is that they fit us tight in all the right places, in the arms, in the shoulders, and in the chest. So if we've been in the gym, we get our swole to pop out a little bit more. Plus, it's a little more loose around the torso. So if you got the dad bod thing going on, it's tight in the right place place and is loose in the other places look at this guy you can clearly see the difference one side is all big and loose and baggy the neck's all saggy but the other side it's a nice clean and tight package that accents us in all the right places but listen this isn't some miscellaneous endorsement on true classic tees because they're sponsoring us take a look at vacha streams for the past year i have been wearing true classic tees i'm wearing true classic tees right now they didn't notice when they when they decided to sponsor vice lombardi but not only do i wear their short sleeves i wear their long sleeves, I wear their hoodies. Vice says this, I want you to go to trueclassictees.com. I'm gonna save you some money. I want you to get a shirt in every single color, just like I did. When you go to checkout, you type in promo code VACH, V-O-C-H, VACH, for 25% off. And if you spend more than $100, you will get free shipping. You cannot beat that with a stick. True Classic Tees, you look good, you feel good. Salute. Welcome back, we're watching a film session on Tyree Wilson, edge player from Texas Tech. We got a lot to talk about, man. I just I just need y'all to stay focused, and I just need y'all to listen to what I'm saying. First of all, if you want the full-blown film session, this is the short version. The, the full film session is on patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. Let's get into this, man. Let me just run this play. He's the tall guy. He's the long arm guy. He's got the longest arms in the world. It's him, Dewan Jones, and John Jones. That's it. Let me tell you what makes this dude so special. And it really is really not even his fault because I don't think he's a very technical player. He's a very raw player, and he's definitely gonna need a need a, need some coach to clean up some of his technique and nuances and things like that. Teach him how to really be an edge dude. But let me tell you where Tyree really has the advantage here. Let me show you right now. One, two, three, boom. That's where he has the advantage. That's where Tyree Wilson is gonna start smoking the hell out of these offensive linemen, and it ain't gonna be fair. And I'll tell you why. As an offensive lineman. We have to play this weird game of balance to where we can't lean forward too far. We can't lean back too far. So we need this base that can accommodate us and 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 we sink down in that base, right? And we're gonna be powerful in two places. When an offensive lineman is, is, is past setting, two places make you powerful, in your knees and in your elbows, right? You have to have solid knee bend and solid bend at your elbow in order to be strong. Why? Because if you push a refrigerator you don't push it standing straight up with your arms straight out you bend at the at the knees and the elbow and that's what makes you strong tyree wilson dewan jones and john jones with his long body and his long arms first of all let's start with body he's so tall that he accidentally make you tall right but the problem is he's the defensive end he gets to move forward he gets to use momentum he gets to use lean right so he's strong standing up you not strong standing up. And the same thing for this stab move with his left hand going down the middle of your chest. He's strong with no bend in his elbow. You're not very strong with no bend in your elbow, right? I know this is getting long winded, but y'all hanging there with me, bro. When he gets to come off the field, he doesn't need a whole bunch of pass rush moves. He just needs raw natural ability. And look, that's what he really beats these dudes with a lot of, right? It's either a bull rush or like a step dip and rip to the side because they're trying to, first of all, figure out how to deal with this thing in front of him, with this physical body type in front of him. And then don't take away the fact that he's actually probably like stronger than you, or he's probably actually just, just a little more bended than you. So we, this, this problem that we run into with, with Tyree Wilson is we don't know how to block dudes this tall, but still this bendy, but still that strong. Take a look at Tyree Wilson versus the left tackle right here. Same thing, same thing. But this time Tyree is working towards the B gap. He's working up field to uh, cross face a little bit, just a little bit of speed to power, but he ain't need the power. He just hit B gap. I want you to really focus on the left tackle right here. Two things happen. Boom, boom, boom. You got tall. You didn't have no knee bend and your elbows did not bend. Right. And why did you do this? Well, because maybe you're trying to compensate for who he is, right? Oh, well, this, 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 you know, quick, bendy defensive end is coming at me so maybe i gotta try to bow up and stand up with him because he's tall and i gotta try to reach him but before you know it like he's powering through you right because your technique is bad because he's not a body that you're used to blocking at the most you're probably used to blocking a dude that's like six five 
Six six is like tall for you, but then there's this six eight guy with this long arm, right? And then he's strong. That's the that's the weird thing about him. And to be fair, sometimes when he's rushing in, rushing in B gap, because I think he's really good working inside. I just think sometimes he hits those gaps faster than you can anticipate. And another example of him at this four eye hitting B gap faster than you can anticipate. So just like I was saying with Jalen Carter, Tyree Wilson is a guy that'll probably have a lot more sacks if he, if he had a lot more nuance. Take a look at him on this play. He's number 19 right here on the right side. He has all the tools to beat this dude, right? The long arms, the, the, the ball get off, the power. But just as a defensive end, just as a pass rusher, he just really don't know how to do it yet. Like he doesn't know how to set up moves. He doesn't know how to have a counter or a plan C and things of that nature, right? He doesn't know how to, okay, I'm gonna do this on play four, five, and six just to set you up for play 30. He doesn't have that in him yet. So that's what I mean by one day he's gonna have a coach that's gonna teach him defensive end. Now he's just a freak of nature with a piece of paper, but at some point somebody's gonna teach him how to do this and that's gonna be scary. Good. Hey man, let's just let's just hold on, man. Let's just let's just bring this play back, right? Tyree Wilson lined up at end, and he's gonna run smack dab into the guard. You with his body type, right? With his body type being so weird, it's, it, I haven't seen a player this size before. It's almost like he's forcing you to have perfect technique, right? Like if it's a dude with slightly shorter arms, or a dude that's like you know just slightly shorter in general, maybe you have a little more room to miss. Maybe your you know maybe your hands can like slip you know outside the frame just a little bit take a look at this guard's hands this right guard's hands like bro like you're just giving tyree wilson your whole chest like that and the problem with that is if you're giving tyree wilson your whole chest first of all tyree wilson is six eight okay this man can't be lower than you tyree wilson is already strong you can't give him the leverage battle in this right Anyway, Tyree has the leverage battle, but that goes back to my point. You got to be technically sound with this guy. You got to you got to get down. You got to bend your knees to be powerful. And bro, you got to get hands on him first somehow. But he has long arms, so he's likely because look, look, if you reach your arms out to get him, you're gonna run in the air. He can touch you from five yards away. Scary, terrifying. But if you find yourself in this situation where your hands are on his back and he has the leverage advantage and he's down the middle of you and he just gets to show his power off. Let's rewind and play it from the top. And he just gets to show that power off. Bro, I don't care if you a big, strong guard or not, man. Tyree Wilson is smoking and putting hands on you. Listen, man, I, I, I don't have a whole bunch to say about Tyree. You know what I mean? I, I kind of said what I said about him. Um, this doesn't have to be a long-winded evaluation. You know, like I said, he's gonna need some, some work on the technique side and the nuance side and how to really be a good edge player. Somebody's gonna have to teach him how to do that. But just as a physical freak, right? This goes back to are you floor guy or are you ceiling guy, right? If you're ceiling guy, you're loving Tyree and you banking on these traits. Hey man, give me this, you know, give me this guy. I'm gonna teach him how to set people up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach him everything that he needs, how to set the edge in the run game and all that stuff. By the way, I think he's really good in the run game. You're gonna teach him all this stuff, and he's just gonna go, hey man, this dude could be one, you know, one of the best defensive ends in the league or whatever right you know there's there's a lot of draft analysts that's looking at the other guy will anderson and they go okay will anderson is really good but i don't look at him as a miles garrett type because he lacks that burst and explosion well this a this this the guy 19 is the guy with the burst and explosion but he's just not you know he's a he's a different type of player than will anderson but he does have those physical traits that you look for in those elite players so we will see I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll tune in to y'all uh, when, when we do the next one. Next one, we'll be talking about Nolan Smith, another pass rush I like. All right, y'all hold down for the dose of and peace, man. Until next time, salute.